my name is Parker and we are here to discuss about hunger and interview this great guy, Simon. Did you ever have a job as a kid? Kind of. And what was it? I'm helping my mom at home because at that time, when the family is big, mm -hmm. um, my mom needs to stay at home to uh, take care of the kids. So he's not, she's not able to go out and work. So instead of uh, going out to work, she bring work in. And uh, at that time, a lot of assembly work, like toys, bags, flowers, those types of things. So it require a lot of labor. You know, I'm one of the labor helping at home. Um, when you were a kid, what did you play with? Uh, oh, I don't really have toys. I just go out and play. And what did you eat when you were also a kid? Um, very simple. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mainly vegetable. Um, and rice, uh, lunch and dinner, and then in the morning maybe bread. Did you ever feel like you were running out of food? Uh, very rare. What was it like around you, knowing that some people were hungry? Yeah, at that time, quite a lot of kids had hunger um, at that time. Did you do anything to help? Uh, not really at that time, because we are barely enough at that time, so. Nothing really able to help, especially on the material standpoint. Do you have any suggestions on how we could help today? Yeah, sure. That uh, first, we we need to um, uh, raise awareness of um, of hunger. Uh, second, as staff and us, I think we sh we should we shouldn't waste anything, especially yeah. food. So like. If you don't like something, just eat it and uh, suck it up and just, if you don't like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you don't like it, don't take it. Yeah. Don't get it. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. My pleasure. Imagine you are a little boy. Tough stuff has been on the rocks, like you do not have that much food and your family is running out of money. But one day, you don't think it's going that bad, but then when you get home, your, mo your mom tells you that you have to leave because you do not have enough money to pay the bills and to get the food that you need to. You need to immigrate to the U.S. You are very upset about this because you have many friends and family that you live with and that you are very close to. So this is very hard. And one day, that day, your mom just takes you on a bus and you have to leave. You go, you, go to a, you go to a boat, and on that boat, you have to stay there for many, many days until you get to the U.S. And that was that. You never saw your family again. You don't want this to happen to many people, right? Right. You probably don't want to help hunger if you don't really know anything about it. It's going to be kind of hard because it's just not good like, to help stuff that you don't know about. So, I will be telling you facts and knowledge that you should probably know before you help with this cause. My first fact is 815 million people in this world suffer from hunger today. That is horrible because that means so many people do not get the food and do not get the food that they need to process and survive. And that is very also bad for children because children like 10 to any other age, they need, a, they need a lot of food so they can learn and process information, especially if you go to a school. When you go to school and you do not have food, that is not good because you, do, you cannot really focus on anything. You just, uh, your, bra your brain is blah and you do, not, you do not learn the stuff that you need to know to get a good future, like a good job and a good life. That, that is happening in a lot of different places in the world. But one of the places that is happening the most is South Saharan Africa. And that is leading into my second fact. In South Saharan Africa, that is the most place where people suffer from hunger. That is because the climate. The climate is very hot and there's not a lot of wetness, so a lot of things can't grow. Plant need, plant, most plants need water and sun to grow. Well, South Saharan Africa has the sun part down, but they do not have the water part down, so many plant life is non-existent. That is not good because then people cannot get the plants and the vegetables and the fruits that they need to eat, 
and a lot of those things make other foods and those are like the building blocks of food and if they do not have that stuff then their world goes to not much food. Since people do not have food that means where are they going to get their stuff? They go to neighboring villages and that may take hours, days, uh, even weeks. They take a long time to get to the other villages. Once they, have, once they have to walk to the other villages, and if they're a long distance, then that is really not good because the nutrients and the energy that they have stored up in their body, which is not that much to begin with, it drops because they are walking or running however fast they need to be to get the food. And so after they have, after they have this food, normally they don't even have that much after they go to neighboring villages. That is because they do not have the money and the supplies that they need that they could either trade or buy to get other foods. And this is one of the reasons that they, uh, that they do not have food. And now we have Ethan. There are many factors of hunger. Some of them are children. About five million children are hungry, and that's a lot of children. Another factor of uh, hunger is senior citizens. About five million s senior citizens go hungry each year. That's a lot too. Another, some other factors are African Americans and Latinos. Uh, a lot of people go to bed hungry each night and we need to fix that. We should do this by helping your local food bank. Owen will give you more information on how to help. I can show you how to help solve hunger. One thing you could do is donate money to money or food to a local food bank and that goes to people who need the food. You could also volunteer. Just a little bit of time each week could go a long way. It helps the people that really need it. If you do these things today, you could feel good tomorrow and build a better future. In 2014, 31%, that's 133 billion pounds of all food produced in the U.S. was not eaten. 43 billion pounds were lost before they even got into stores, and 90 billion pounds were lost after they were sold because they were not eaten for one reason or another. Food waste is a big problem because people are taking perfectly good food and throwing it away where it could be eaten and somebody could get a good meal. People should either stop throwing away as much food by using it before it goes bad or not use as much in the first or not buy as much in the first place. People should stop wasting food because it is a large contributing factor in hunger. A large factor in food waste is consumer misunderstanding. For example, a large factor in papaya loss, yes, papaya loss, is misunderstanding about how a papaya is prepared, how what a papaya is used for, etc., etc. Also, many people have misunderstandings about use, buy, and best buy labels. Don't toss the, f the food before it goes bad. Only toss it if you have mold, mildew, it smells bad, etc. If, however, the best thing to do is to eat it before it goes bad. Then you won't have to worry about mold, mildew, smells bad, and such things as that. 8.21 million people are undernourished. Where is this happening? This is happening mainly in Asia where 515.1 million people are undernourished. 12.9% of the world's population is going hungry. One out of six children, about 100 million, is undernourished. One in four of the world's children are stunted. 66 million primary school age children attend classes undernourished. Poor nutrition causes nearly half, 45%, or 3.1 billion children per year to die. If women farmers had the same resources as men, then they would be able to feed up to 150 more million people. Hi, did you know that it is scientifically proven that helping people makes you feel better? Helping people makes the world go around, and there's so many more benefits than just making you feel good. My first benefit is that it makes you feel good. The science behind this is that helping people just makes you feel better about yourself because you're helping somebody else. My second reason is that it's just the right thing to do. 
it may seem like just a small little thing, but when a lot of people each do something small, then it gets to be one big great deed for the future to make it better. My third reason is that mostly they will be happy, the people that you are helping. The re one time I was walking and there was a man that was begging for f money for a sandwich. So I gave him to it and his face lit up. I will never forget how happy he seemed. I was wondering why did he seem so happy? I mean, it's just money for a sandwich. But the reason for that is because he didn't have that money and not that many other people do. So if you help people, you can feel better about yourself. It's a good thing to do. They'll be happy. So it's just a great thing and it'll also help the future.